Let's see if uh, Jay the Aussie can get to know little Betty here, mm. my little silver rav. I can't see if I can think at the back. Well, no, it's a soft weird. top. <laughs> the soft top windows need um, redoing, but yeah, that's what side mirrors are for. Yeah. Legally, you don't need to be able to see out the back. No, well, I suppose you can't see out the back of a B-double, can you? No, that's exactly right. Trade trucks, that sort of thing. You, um, yeah. You got a solid firewall behind you, so you don't. You only need side mirrors. That and the clutch is running in, so first, yeah. particularly first, I notice it's still trying to spin a little bit. But it's probably also bad old gear oil. So that's Where next on go? the wherever you want. Next on the maintenance list is um, yeah, gearbox oil change. I haven't driven manual in a while, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Manual's fun. I can't believe I didn't do it earlier. Yeah. Mind you, I didn't really have much of an option. The only car I really got to buy was an auto. And the cars I got to practice in were man um, auto. I just got, I just got sick of manual. <laughs> yeah, I'll, there's plenty of times when I think, can I be bothered driving manual? And then I realise that the Falcon just, or Fairmont just feels like a complete boat. And I just go, ah, manual will do. Yeah, no, this thing actually doesn't feel a little bit. Yeah. Keep the revs right and everything and she'll hammer. She gets going. Yeah. Empty yeah. anyway with a bucket load of stainless in the back she's a bit slow like an extra 100 kilos or so you do notice it a bit and I can't imagine with four passengers and luggage mm. I should buy your blue one off oh, blue's happy where he is fuck the falcon if the auto is going to fucking play games with him then it can go <laughs> just get a manual rev yeah. well I'll see if I get this albino one white one. It's sort of weird because it, it being short wheelbase it oh, responds much better to the steering you know. She's choppy, she's responsive. Mm. Heaps more responsive than the Falcon. Oh god and the, well Fairmont with with XR6 suspension I might add. Yeah, no, even with never, e, even with XR6 suspension it's still a dog. They were never much good the old yeah. there was no uh, decent Commodore at all. Until until the, rattle is a, the rattles a license plate against the bloody um, top support. I still prefer the, the old E32s and E34s to my BA even. Yeah. And it's 20 years older. Well, not quite, but close to. Yeah, there's a Tennessee license plate rattling against the bloody top support back there. That pulls along, right? Yeah. Is that fifth? Yeah, that must be fifth. <laughs> I hardly ever use fifth, unless I'm doing over 80, it's just... Fourth. I'm a short shift myself. I, yeah, I can see that. I'm in fifth by sixty. <laughs> Trouble is, it labours a bit much though. If you're trying to actually put the foot down at any point, mm. she'll um, she'll labour a bit too much. Are you coming? We don't want to get. Oh, this. you <laughs> fucking truck with no. Oh, the indicator's barely visible. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, we don't want to fucking get tied up with you. Get a new bloody indicator lamp, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Like, it's working, but only just. Is he fuel? He can't be fueling. No, no, that's bulk. That's like bulk sand or bulk Yeah, what, well, they can grain. Press it, or something? It's air, air transfer. You use oh, a okay. cyclone or, um, sorry, a venturi effect. It looks like a bulk sand or grain carrier. God, son. <laughs> The rear indicator works, it's LED. Yeah. Until one day it just dies completely and you have to buy a whole new module. Yeah. I could drive this thing. <laughs> I do miss manual, I must admit. She's a bit of fun. I don't know whether I bother, I think the Fords, you know, like the Magna and this has sort of zip little four cylinders, whereas the Fords are big, sort of, I don't know whether I bother putting manual in that. Yeah. Sort of defeats the purpose. The Ford's sort of a wafty fucking highway cruiser, whereas these are nice little town cars. Yeah, that's exactly right. This is a great little run around. She does really well. I need to get better speakers though. The sound system's pretty good. It is a Fujitsu head unit and six things, but six stack CD. But I just need some better speakers. I think uh, Infinity 5 inches will do really nicely. Mm. And 
sun. Lots of sun. That's about all you get out the back. <laughs> slightly, slightly cloudy image. Well, they put a roundabout here, you think, for Christ. Yeah. About fucking time. This is a death trap of an intersection before. It probably still is, but it's not quite as bad. Yeah, well, they haven't really notified you of the roundabouts here very well. It just appears out of nowhere. Yeah. Especially on a sunny day like that. I didn't know it was there. I've been, well, I've been down here in months, actually, have I? No. I think the last time I was down here was when I saw you. When I come and picked up my um, HQ oh. tire, wasn't it? Yeah, and dropped the granulator off. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't even come that way because I had the trailer on. I've been having fun with that granulator. Yeah, I just saw three PVC pipes. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Needs more horsepower. Yeah, it, 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 won't eat two, it won't eat two by fours without wrecking it, but oh, yeah. it'll um, it'll eat soft like tree limbs and stuff like that. I was feeding it bits of pear tree. Yeah, well, I don't yeah. think any can get dry the two by four. It depends how it enters the blades. Yeah, a, a I wood, mean, if that's a wood blade, chipper, it has to come yeah. in with a blade coming down on it, and it has to be controlled. That's why they have those hydraulic feeders on them. If I cut the front out of that hopper and actually had a hydraulic feeder <laughs> feeding stuff in, that would actually work well, and that probably <laughs> it probably chip a three-inch tree trunk. <laughs> Mind you, those blades have already been reground so many times. There's not much left of them, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy a whole new set of blades for it once they're buggered. Yeah. yeah. We do have a surface grinder at work that I can set up and actually resurface the oh, blades like they, and the handles. And they've already been sharpened a couple. Of times. Oh, heaps of times, heaps of times. They're way they're about at the minimum. That's yeah. probably why they got rid of the thing. They're at absolute minimum. How hard are they to replicate? Very hard because it's basically hard. It's basically oh, yeah. razor blade steel. Yeah. It's fully hardened steel. So would you be able to buy? It? You won't buy them. Off the I'd, I'd have to buy them. I'd have to buy replacements. So oh, you'd have to get them made though, wouldn't you? Would they, you Maybe it depends on the bolt pattern. Mm. If the bolt pattern's industry standard, which I imagine it will be, mm. I'll be able to buy a uh, replacement set straight off the shelf. You go that way or go past the uh, high school. But yeah, if you buy a um, replacement oh, yeah. set straight Fucking off. Long we gonna take pot. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I don't. I don't want to know what a replacement set of blades for that thing's worth. Yeah, probably That's probably why they got rid of it. Yeah, it'd be worth more than the machine's worth, given how old it is. But yeah, I'll run them out. Maybe even just touch them up on the surface grinder at work a couple of times if I can. Could you grind them down a bit and um, weld hammers into the? Well, that's the other option. I'm going to um, Is there much? look at retrofitting it as a uh, like a small little muncher mill. Yeah, I don't I know, suppose, a hammer mill. Yeah, that'd be an idea. Flail, that sort of thing. <laughs> Heaven forbid a flail chain comes off at 3,000 RPM and goes through the casing. Well, I don't think you go all chasing through that. It's I'm three, not going to three quarter inches. I'm not going to rev it that fast. Yeah, we're doing what? Fifty if we're lucky. Then. Is this 60 or 70? I think this is 70. It's a school zone, but it's school holidays, so yeah, I don't see the and point. And it's about, what, 6 o'clock at night? Yeah. <laughs> and this toss pot wants to do 50. <laughs> mm. oh, maybe you heard us amusing him. Probably. I can get them. Yeah, it is 70, so we're doing 20 under the speed limit. Yeah, he knows he's on film. <laughs> yeah, toss he pot. He smells too. Hmm? He smells. Oops, he's not funny. SML, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a pretty lame joke, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah, I need a camera mount for this, but I can't show too much outside, otherwise, everyone knows where I am. Yeah. Sort of. Probably oh, well, I have to do one through the windies near Mornington. Going up to Mornington, that'll be fun. Mind you, we are still a fair way out. Mm. But no, she drives all right, doesn't she? Yeah, no, it's quite nice. You just got to get used to taking off's a bit different because it's sort of a bit heavier car and a bit. I think the all-wheel drive. It's sort of it, you, yeah, yeah. It sort of has a little bit of a lag when you let the clutch out. I don't know. It's funny. Yep. It's not like you do have a bit more um, drive line to load up. Yeah. And I think it's um, also what is this, a two-liter or? Yeah. Well, I'm used to 2.6 in a car that's probably considerably lighter, so... Yeah. 
<laughs> it makes a bit of difference. It's just, the, it's just the old Camry, Camry 3 SFE. Mm. So it's, it's probably a, not it. It's tore, I suppose it probably, it revs, it rev hard, but probably doesn't have all that much torque off the line. No, yeah, I think it's about 98 kilowatts of power at the most. Mm. But anyway, she does her job. Yeah, no, it's, it's a lot of fun. Nice. The five door is a lot smoother, obviously, because of the short, the longer wheelbase and the added mass. Mm. But yeah, steering's quite nice and positive. It's just oh doing, yeah, it's weird getting used to having. You know, I'm used to freaking Jags and <laughs> you know huge cars coming in something that sort of you could turn the steering wheel and just about turn on its bloody radius. You know? Yeah. No, this thing is really fun. I have to wait and see if that guy calls me back about the little white one. It's up in, um, where is it? Yeah. Up in Emerald, yeah, yeah, sort of halfway, some other town halfway. Em Emerald something or other road. Well, I'll drive you up there. We can yeah. go on this. Yeah, that'll be alright. Give her a good run. I want to find some new lifters and cams for her though. Yeah, no, that'll probably be Top end's still a little bit noisy and uh. just. just Oh, who knows? You've taken on a good run, put some decent oil in, it get nice and warm. It might, you know. Well, I'm running lifter free at the moment. It hasn't quite gotten there. It's a lot better, but still. Mm. I was talking to the guys on Rav4 World, and they just said it happens when people neglect the oil change. It's not going to murder the engine, but mm. you either put up with it or do a full top end rebuild. Oh, I'd be putting up with it, but that's just me. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting crazy. up with it for now. But if I find a cheap set of cams and um, lifters. She's uh yeah she's getting a, a, mm. head, a head rebuild, a head job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks for watching. That was fun. <laughs>